In this lesson, we're going to use the quadratic formula to solve a quadratic equation. After we put our equation into standard form, and we identify the values of a, b, and c, then we use the quadratic formula. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. It's important that if you have not done so that you memorize this formula. So we want to solve using the quadratic formula. Now we already have our equation in st standard form and we can identify a is 9, b is 6, and c is equal to 1. So x has a value of negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared, 6 squared minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2 times the value of a. So x equals negative 6. Notice inside here 6 squared has a value of 36 minus 4 times 9 times 1 minus 36, so that gives us a value of 0. So negative 6 minus 0, actually it's plus or minus 0 here, divided by 2 times a, 2 times 9 is 18. So we wind up with negative 6 over 18, which is the same as negative one-third. Now because we got zero inside our square root, this is called a double root. Let's try a second example, x squared minus 10x equals negative 9. Please notice we don't have a zero on the right, so we need to add 9 to both sides of the equation. We need to get a zero. We have x squared minus 10x plus 9. I put the 9 to the far right so that this equation would be in descending order, so it's in standard form. We now can identify a is the coefficient here, 1, b is negative 10, c equals 9. So we take x equals negative b, b is negative 10, plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c divided by 2 times a. So that means x equals negative and negative 10 is the same as 10 plus or minus. If we simplify what's side inside of the square root, negative 10 squared is 100. Negative 4 times 1 times 9 is minus 36. So if we subtract, we get 64. The square root of 64 is 8, so we have plus or minus 8 divided by 2 times 1 is 2. So we have 10 plus 8 would be 18 over 2. 10 minus 8 would be 2 over 2. So we have two answers. x equals 9 and x equals 1. The safest thing to do, of course, is to substitute these back into our original equation. For example, if you put 1 back in for x, 1 squared is 1. Negative 10 times 1 is negative 10. 1 minus 10 is negative 9 equals negative 9. So we know that one works. Let's try 9. If we put 9 in for x, 9 squared is 81. Negative 10 times 9 is negative 90. 81 minus 90 is negative 9. So this one will write, works. So we're sure we're correct with both answers. Continuing here, w squared plus 7 equals 5w. Notice that we want to get a 0 on the right, so let's subtract 5w from both sides of the equation. So we have w squared. Now I wrote this in standard form. Make it easier to find the values of a, b, and c. So a equals 1, b equals negative 5, and c equals 7. So x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all divided by 2 times a. Negative and negative 5, so x equals 5, plus or minus the square root of 5 squared is 25, 4 times 1 times 7 is negative 28, so we're left with negative 3, all divided by 2. So answer is 5, plus or minus the square root of negative 3, all over 2. But wait a minute, negative inside the square root, it turns out this is not 
a real number. So there's no real number answer for this particular equation. Later in mathematics, of a subsequent course, you analyze how to deal with this. Let's try one more. Negative 2t equals 2 minus 3t squared. We want to get the t squared to the left. Notice I'm putting it first. So I have 3t squared minus 2t equals 2. These cancel. Let me subtract 2 from both sides of the equation, being careful to put things in the correct order. 3t squared minus 2t minus 2 equals 0. So now I can identify that a is 3, b is negative 2, and c is negative 2. Make sure you remember the negative signs. So to find the value of x using that quadratic formula, negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2 times a. So we have x equals negative a negative 2 is positive 2, plus or minus the square root of negative 2 squared, that's 4. Negative 4 times 3, it's 12, so it's plus 24. So we have 28 inside our square root here all divided by 2 times 3 is 6, so we have 2 plus or minus the square root of 28 all over 6 is our answer. The square root of 28 the square root of 28 can be written as the square root of 4 times the square root of 7 which gives us 2 times the square root of 7. Therefore, we can write 2 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 7 all over 6 we can factor 2 out of both of the numerators, 1 plus or minus the square root of 7 over 3. Not a very pretty answer. Of course, we could also write this as 1 third plus and minus the square root of 7 over 3. Either one of these answers would be acceptable.